Good afternoon, foodies. This is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. And today we're making a beautiful golden doll. I'm using here, this is called a yellow split peas. And in this little pot here, I've got one cup of split peas soaking and it's actually bubbling away in about, I covered it in about two inches of water. And the next I'm going to add some aromatics to that. Now let's take a look at these babies over here, these aromatics. And let's go through and tell you what they are. Over here, I've got a quarter of one large white onion that's finely chopped. I've got over here a half of a tablespoon of pink salt. I've got here, which is one teaspoon of Madras curry powder, a half of a teaspoon of coriander powder, a half of a teaspoon of turmeric powder, and a quarter of a teaspoon here of garam masala that my mom made. In addition, two small garlic cloves and two whole hot peppers that I'm going to add to this beautiful golden doll. And let's try to get these puppies in. There we go. We're going to go in with the salt. Next, we're going to go with the curry powder, coriander, turmeric, garam masala, and we're going to finish with the onions, the garlic, and the hot pepper. And now we're going to leave these to come up to a boil. I'm going to give this a little stir. I'm going to let this come up to a little bit of a boil and I'm going to let this cook until the grains are very smooth. And then we're going to get ready for a tartka, or rather a seasoning of this dal when it's done. And let's take a look at our doll. It's still doing beautifully. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, those greens are breaking up nicely. You can see all that beautiful color. Let's see. Yep, still, it's almost there. Just need to get it a tad softer. And then we're going to make some magic happen here in this spot. Let's go. There we go. How beautiful is that look? Yep. There we go. And ta-da! It's time to get those greens all mashed up. And I've got here, I don't exactly know what the appropriate name for this thing is, but I call it a swizzle stick. You use it mainly, you'll find this stuff in most Indian kitchens. And I've seen my mom use it, my grandma use it, my aunts use it, everyone in the family. And pretty much what you do, it's a, it's shaped like a star, so you put it inside of the doll and you kind of hold the top up firmly with your hands like that. And you give it a little zhuzh like that and it, kind of, it breaks up the grains beautifully. Now you could take the easy way out, which sometimes I do, and simply use an immersion blender and you get the same effect, but uh, I think this is so cool. And I love quite a bit of the old in a new modern kitchen. I kind of like to stick to as much of the old fashioned way as much as I can. And this is actually a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So I'm gonna keep doing this to get those grains nice and smooth. And by doing this also, it melts up, it crushes up that garlic that we put in there. It melts up that onion. It kind of smashes a bit of those hot peppers also that we put in here. And it just smoothens out everything beautifully. So this still has quite a bit yet where to go. But um, as you can see, some of those grains are nicely broken up. See that? There we go. Yep. Still has a little bit way more to go though. We still got to get that going, so let's do one more, one more, there we go. Let's take a look and see how that works. Yep, sizzle, sizzle, sizzle away, sizzle, sizzle, sizzle away, yep. It's doing its job. 
gosh, that beautiful golden color. Oh, I love lentils. That was my best friend. <laughs> And I've started all the prep here for the dal tartka, which is the last and finishing element that we do to temper the dal. The dal, which is the split peas and lentils are still cooking. So once those grains are all smooth and I like it to the consistency that I like it, which is I prefer a smooth dal. I don't like to see any of those uh, lumps and bumps and grains in there. So I'm gonna start with the tartka. So for the tartka, what I have here is three tablespoons of desi ghee. If you don't want to use desi ghee, which is basically clarified butter, you could use olive oil or whatever means that you think is best for you. I prefer desi ghee because I just think the flavor is that much better. And in here I've got some aromatics. So let's go over some of these aromatics, what I've got. I've got a half of one small white onion, thinly chopped. I've got five very small garlic cloves that I've thinly sliced, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, and that's roasted jira seeds. I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder. Now that's spicy, because I do like things spicy. And I've got two small round hot chilies, and that I've basically chopped up kind of rough, and I've kept the seeds in. So that, once the ghee is melted and nice and hot, we're gonna go in and add all of those aromatics to it. Once they're all nice and golden brown, that's what we're going to tartka the dal with. And let's take a look at this dal. I went ahead and I added one cup of water to this because the dal was thickening up and the grains were not quite smooth the way I would like it. So I went ahead and I added another cup of water to this so it's been boiling away for about 15 minutes and as you can see i've given this quite a few quite a bit of this little swizzle here and i've smoothened out quite a bit look at the pretty much this is a consistency i like it so most of the grains are broken up and they're to that consistency i would like this so at this point what i'm going to do is simply move this over and get ready for the tartka of the dal, or rather the tempering of the dal. So I'm gonna put a lid on this, move this over, and I've got here our ghee. So I'm gonna melt this up here, and then let's watch this baby go. After this is all melted up, the ghee is all melted up, we're going to go in first with the cumin seeds. So let's take a look. There we go. And that's melting up nicely. And our ghee, as you can see, is nicely melted. So we're going to go in at this point and we're going to start with the cumin seeds. So in we go, cumin seeds. Let's get those babies nice and sputtering. Yep, that's what we want. Cook, 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 baby. There we go. Gosh, this kitchen smells amazing. Now, as soon as those seeds start to sputter a bit, I'm going to go in immediately with the onions. There we go. Let's see what they're doing in there. Yep. It's flavoring up that very nicely. It's starting to sputter a little bit in there. Yep, that's what we want. So now I'm gonna add in, and of course, using my hands, onions. Now, of course, you need to be very careful when you're doing this because you don't want to get burned. The last thing anybody wants is to get burned. Oh my goodness. And go in with the onions. Let that get a bit golden. And the moment it starts to, just before it starts to get golden, and it's pretty much more translucent because everything here is nice and hot. Yep, it's already starting to get translucent because everything is so hot here. We're gonna go in now with the garlic. There we go, garlic. Temper everything beautifully. 
Get all those pieces of garlic in there. Don't want to waste anything. Now I'm going to toss in those hot peppers as well. There we go. And I'm going to finish with the Kashmiri chili powder. Now at this point, some people would add maybe a sprinkling of hing, which is asafoetida, and maybe finish with a bit of amchura powder. But for the purposes of this particular doll, the way I make this particular one, I am not using any of those. But during my doll series, or rather my lentil series, watch out because I'll be making a series of different kinds and of ways that you can make lentils or dolls, North Indian style, so South Indian style. This here is more of a West Indian style, or rather, I should say Alamala style, because not everyone cooks the way I do. So, this smells amazing here right now. It's blooming beautifully. Look at that color. Wow, how gorgeous does that look? Kitchen smells amazing. Onions are blooming beautifully. We just need this to get a bit more brown. And of course, a beautiful golden color is coming from that Kashmiri chili powder in there. So beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Smells amazing. Wow. Yep. We just need this to get a bit more golden brown. And our tarta is almost ready. Look at that beautiful color. There we go, yep, that beautiful golden color. I'm gonna take the heat off of this and it's gonna be a little bit of maneuvering. Let's get this out of the way. We're gonna take this off to the side, do this. And this is where you really want to be careful because I'm gonna take this and I'm going to pour this in very gently. You wanna hold that cover towards you because this is pretty hot and you want to let all, all those flavors marry together now we've got everything in there we want to cover this nice and tight so just a little let's give you a little sneak peek of what this looks like how beautiful does that look that beautiful golden doll a la mala style how gorgeous is that oh baby it looks amazing really 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 amazing look at that look at that beautiful color huh gorgeous and there you have it golden doll a la mala style now this usually traditionally you can serve this with uh, rice mostly i would choose like a jira rice which i would make or with hot rotis that's another way and of course some veggies always got a Go with the veggies and we've got our golden doll all plated up here and let me tell you what i've done here you've got our golden doll in a bowl and i finished that up with a little bit of a dusting of kashmiri chili powder of course i plated up here with some jira rice as you can see and i dusted the jira rice with a little bit of also kashmiri chili powder and some sweet smoked paprika Finished up the edges with some cooling cucumber, some red onions, which I doused in some lime juice, salt and pepper, and some fresh tomatoes, and of course, garnish with some dunya coriander. How beautiful does this look, huh? You can either eat this golden doll with the cumin rice, or rather the jira rice, or you can serve them with hot rotis and vegetables. So it's, you know, to each its own, whatever soaks your pleasure. Once again, this is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours, and this is my version of Golden Doll, a la Mala style.